Welcome to this short video on partial page refresh within Oracle Apex. So I have this project dashboard and at the moment it's showing these charts and report based on all the projects. I've also added an item up here and what I'd like to happen is when I select a project it refreshes all of these regions without doing a page submission. So let's go ahead and look at the page. So you'll see I have this P11 project ID item. So let's go ahead and integrate that into each of these regions. So first of all, I'm going to go into the task cost one and I'm just going to add a where condition where the project ID equals the item P11 project ID. And I'm just going to grab that because of the fact I'll need it in the next one as well. Now, importantly, I also need to make sure I submit that page item. Second one, I'll just do the same thing. And again, page items to submit. And then the third one, slightly different. I need to put it in the where condition here. So I don't actually need the where. And then again, page item to submit. So at this stage, I've got all three of these regions utilizing this project ID. The next thing is to actually go and create the JavaScript that's required to refresh these regions without doing the page submission. So rather than entering in JavaScript, I'm going to create a dynamic action. So this allows me to dynamically define what needs to be done and without the need to enter in JavaScript. So whenever this changes, it's going to fire this particular dynamic action. And instead of show, I just want it to refresh. And then I'm just going to select, instead of an item, I want a region. And I'm going to select my first region being task costs. And then I'm just going to duplicate this one and change the region to be the assignee costs. And then re duplicate it one more time for the task details. And that's it. So now I can run my page and you'll see that there's currently no data displayed because of the fact I haven't selected a project. Whenever I select a project, you'll see that it'll bring up details for that specific project and it's not doing a page refresh. So thank you very much for watching this video on how you can very easily implement JavaScript without having to actually write code utilizing the dynamic actions within Oracle Apex. Thank you very much.